Hello and welcome to the first haul video in quite a while here on YouTube. Um, this morning we were bombing along the A12 on our way back from um, the ferry, having come overnight um, back from Rotterdam where we've been at Traverse together. Within the speed limit, I might add. Yeah, bombing along within the speed limit, of course. <laughs> um, and as we're going along, we suddenly spotted over on our left-hand side what looked like a massive car boot sale. And of course, yep. it's Bank Holiday Monday, so that made sense. So we quickly went to the next roundabout found a petrol station with a cash point, got some cash, because I don't think they take euros at car boots. No, no, Are not... Are we in Essex? Uh, we just had to Colchester, so... Is that in Essex? Something like it that. It might be in Essex. Anyway, so we saw, this big, we saw this big car boot, so we got some cash, went back, and I'm quite, quite glad we did, actually. Yeah, actually. <laughs> we did have to do a couple of trips back to the car yeah. with the amount of stuff that we came with, so we thought we'd share it. Um, there's a bit of a mix of stuff though, isn't there? Cause Quite a lot, yeah. We, yeah, all sorts, we, all sorts, really. All sorts, but for different purposes as well. Yeah. There's some bits which are things that actually our kids will probably want, which is yeah. why we bought them. A couple of things that we wanted, which is why we bought them. And then there's quite a bit of stuff that we're hoping to feature sort on Sort of pass Penny. and pass on. <laughs> There's quite a bit of stuff that we're hoping to feature on Penny Plays, yep. and then it might get sold, it might get kept, there's some bits that we might just sell, yep. we haven't decided yet, but um, when we saw a bargain we couldn't really... Refuse it, up, it. no, we? no we couldn't. So, should we make a start? Yeah. So the thing I always look for in um, car boot sales and charity shops are ladybird things, so I'll start with these, so I collect okay, yeah. ladybird books... And you don't often see that many nowadays at car boots. And I saw a section and went over and was looking through them. And I spoke to the guy and said how much and everything. And he went, oh, you should have been here earlier. The guy bought a whole tray of them. And it's like, ah! Because it turned out the guy selling them, his father used to collect them. So it's like, oh, I wish I'd been there sooner. So anyway, they weren't that cheap. But I just picked up some that I know I haven't they got. They weren't that cheap, but they were cheaper than I've seen them. Be I've seen them. Oh, a car boot, you can often pick them up for 20p each. Right, okay. But these right. were a pound okay. each. So I was a big pile that I would have brought had they been about 20p each but they weren't so we have from the good old Garden Gang series Colin the Cucumber and Patrick Pear which is actually one I've not had before right. not seen that one before um, good old Telling the Time one again matte cover on that although it's a little bit tatty yeah, a little bit at the bottom and a bit mouldy yeah it has been but that's not too bad because it was alright on the inside generally okay. and then the, this one from the Fun Guys I've featured one of the Fun Guys books before on the old, right. um, on my old blog, being Mr. C, but this will go on um, Penny Reads at some point in, in the future. And then also, I broke my own rule by buying one of the glossy covered ones. Glossy covered, yeah. Because discovering cathedrals, it is a glossy covered one, but I've got one of the old cathedral books. So what I wanted to do was do a compare and contrast of yep. old and new. Yep. Always good for that one. So that was my Ladybird book purchases. Yes, and then you randomly found these little. Um, Little mini puzzles, which is... You see, I saw those in a gift shop somewhere recently for about a five of each. Yeah, and they and these were... 50p, 50p each. each. So I don't yet know if they're complete, but no. I just like those and I might frame them. Puss in Boots and Three Little Pigs. But they're quite big. That's 88 pieces. They're right. both 88 yeah. pieces. So we hope, hope they're all there and we may even feature us putting that together wow. at some point. <laughs> might do, might do. So that was the lady bit of it and that was like... One of the main things I was looking for today. Yep. Um, and after that, it's always looking at toys, books, mm -hmm. kids stuff, mainly. Um, so we kind of lucked out on board games cool. today, didn't we? Yeah, quite a lot of very vintage-ish. And random. Uh, rand and random board games, yeah. from some Really random. Some that I've never heard of. Um, I've, although this one I have, and this have one is... I, I've heard, yeah, I've... I know I've heard of it, but I don't know where. I don't know whether my, my nan had it or whether okay. whether my mum used... I don't know. But this one is called Home You Go. Look at that. And by Spears Games, so we... That company doesn't well, they exist did, anymore. Well, they did... Um, uh, oh, um, Scrabble, didn't they? Spears? They did, yes. That's I'm right, yes. I'm now looking for my vintage no, Scrabble it, set. It, yes. Yeah, yeah Spears, Spears yeah. Games. So, yes. And so that's... Be a nice one. We don't even know... A family fun game for two Anything or about four the game. players aged six years onwards, but yeah. it's obviously been quite looked after because still, if you look inside, yeah. well, just yeah, where they've moved yeah. slightly in transit, yeah. not only is the board, but there's all the pieces all yeah. beautifully laid out in yeah. a way that doesn't often happen. You don't often get boxes no, that are cause, even because the little little white plastic like bit that. is normally really flimsy and breaks and you know, you, yeah. So 
Yeah, it's quite 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 a nice little uh, find that I think. And instructions inside the box. So Which that is... one will probably feature over on Penny Plays yep. at some point. And then, um, now, oh yeah, I think we with this one we we have and we've got, we're gonna we're gonna do a comparison on this game. Yeah, because we have the old version of this game. Well, we picked up the I picked up the old version of this bizarrely in a National Trust charity bookshop thing. Yeah. So loads of National yeah. Trust places now have second-hand bookshops within them. And, that, and they're normally dirt cheap. Yeah, and that one that one was made by MB Games. Yeah, which is that's right. I'm yeah. now looking at yeah, it. Yeah, it's up there. Shop. But this one, and, and so the game is basically um, Hotel, or as it's now called, Hotel Tycoon. So and we this think is, this is the current version, yes. is that yeah, right? Yeah, this, this, this was, according to the fan website mm. it, uh, there's this a one, massive website yeah, just Italian. on this game some Italian yeah. guy has got a website just upon the game hotel and every different variant of the game hotel yes. hasn't he so this one is 2000 two, was, I think it was released in 2013 or 16 13, 13 I, think. I think you said yeah. it and it's now released by I can't even read that as, as, as Modi as Modi, yeah. You see, so, I've not heard of them as a game so, thing, but I've seen um, there's computer game versions of this yeah. as well. Bizarrely. So the great thing it's is, it's not been used. It's not even been used. It's got. It's still got to have all the hotels constructed and everything. So, yeah. so we are going. To, and the, the the other one that we have is um, is a complete set, but everything's well, been built. A, there's a, yeah, there's a couple of lamp posts missing from our other. Set, oh yes, think, isn't there? That's which it. apparently was something which, that did break up, uh, according to the fan website, which we found very detailed. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, we paid maybe a little bit more than we would normally do for a charity shop, uh, for a car boot sale yeah, board but, game. Yeah, but this was, I forget now, five Fiverr, yeah, so actually not bad. Well, not for a brand new board game, and no. actually I think it's the sort of thing. So it says age eight plus, but yeah. I think the kids will probably play that one with us, actually. They will, yes. So, and that, and uh, it'd be interesting to actually see the difference between the, the gameplay Mm. Uh, between the old one and the new one so as uh, well as how they've yeah. designed pieces yeah. and stuff and now onto a board uh, game that everyone will know everyone knows this game yeah. and if you don't if if they, i, I just doubt now. there's a household in the Go world that now. doesn't have this. monopoly <laughs> now okay let's start so <laughs> we're going along and i happen to see a box with mm -hmm. like weird mm. card games and stuff in and i went and had a rummage in this box have you it's all here okay so i went and had a rummage in this box and i could see some monopoly cards and things like that yeah and then stuck at the back was a Monopoly game board, which was really tatty and stuff. Yep. But then the thing which caught my interest was the properties. Yeah. Now, these, if you can just see here, are actually made of wood. Yeah. So little, little wooden one. hotels. Little and green one. Greenhouses. Now, I remember my dad saying that him and his brother used to play big games of Monopoly, yeah. but they used to kind of extend it, and they used to build their own wooden yeah. houses and hotels and everything, so there were more of them. So in this box, they've got all these houses and hotels, but there's only, like, what is it, three hotels and six houses, which definitely isn't the right number. Yeah. But then they got bundled up all these things. So there's a pile there, which are property deeds and community chest and chance cards. That's a load of Monopoly load money. Of mo yeah. And then this is another load of Monopoly. Or Euros. This is another Pardon. load of Monopoly money, but it's really... It's older, yeah. as in it's much more played with than what's in that yeah. pack. Yeah. So I think this is two sets. It is, because... Yeah, possibly. yeah, yeah, because... Yeah, well, yeah. this has got an old 500 yeah. note in, and one that's obviously never this, used. This is this is the stuff that I... This, the, uh, this one is... With the colours. Yeah, from the set that I yeah, remember having. I remember hundreds this, this being is, that colour. Yeah. Because they were the ones you get when you pass go, whereas but these are like older. A, like a... Hang on, yeah, they can't see them down there. Oh. They're so, much older, though, yeah. so you've put a contrast of colours. Yeah. Get your hundreds out. Oh, hang on, hundred. Give me, get Show me a hundred. Give me a hundred. See, that's the difference. So, Colour, contrast. Yeah. So, I'm not sure. So, we kind of got all these random bits. Yeah. Um, but they reckon, they said that at the start of the car boot sale, they'd had all the hotels and houses, but they'd been in a box and they couldn't find it anyway. Yeah, which is a shame. Had, I think someone had nabbed it, which is a real shame. So we kind of, in the end, made a bit of an offer just for the bits, and we thought, well, they'd be kind of useful maybe to sell a few bits as spares and stuff like yeah. that. Then we went to another stall and found this old version of Monopoly, which is in kind of tatty condition yeah. with the box in there. It's a bit But the bit board... Sad. Is actually in quite good nick. Relatively. It's no the seam no the seam's still there. The, the other one had had tape. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. the other one had had like brown tape put so. down the middle, which kind of spoilt the look a little bit. Yeah, and it's got quite a lot of it. 
quite a lot of it's original money in there. Yeah, so this, again, is in varying states of. You see, so the cards. So this one that's completely ripped there. Yeah, the cards are all here, but everything's just in a bit of a muddle in here. Yeah. Um, three houses on yellow is paid, so sort of obviously wrote on the back of some of their cards. And oh, stuff. These, but these. But the great thing about this is it's got that's. These are pieces I don't know. Oh no, I know the battleship. You see, but there the though, one. that is a plastic boot yeah. that someone's put in there because they've lost the thing. That's a real metal top hat though, and yeah. there's the boot, and and that's kind of and uh, I don't know. There could be more it's, in it's, this box. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's massively complete, but we didn't pay an awful lot for it. No, so. we didn't. So we kind and, of and plastic, obviously plastic hotels and houses. So we haven't quite got all the pieces, but we didn't pay much for this. I think we paid one pound fifty, mm. two quid, something like that. I think there's one being chewed by a dog there. Ugh, but I'm hoping we can kind of <laughs> cobble together yeah. between it yeah, all exactly. a proper kind of game thing. of Monopoly and everything yeah. as well. And then we were thinking maybe a podcast over a game of Monopoly. Mm. Yeah, yes. Might be. We're, yes. We're, get we're, get some of our podcast friends along. That's what we were thinking. So um, so yeah, it's it's kind of like I mean, there's loads of copies of Monopoly today, there is. There, but loads there of was, random There was a copies. Simpsons one. There was a couple of them I saw, and then there was. Um, I mean, Monopoly is now that thing that you get... Well, there's a get... guy recently who's, I think, got 2,000. Yeah, you... It was just, like, recently gone in the Guinness Book of Records of about 2,000 different sets of Monopoly, right. different versions of Monopoly. And there were loads there today, but I think there was a family just in front of us, and I saw her haggling with yeah, someone for two so we games. Yeah, we kind of missed out on them. Well, we that's, that's, that's okay. That's but, hey, um, So... Now I found it. I think I found this, but it doesn't really matter. Take the credit. Yeah, okay. You take. You, you take. You take the credit. Oh well, no, actually, I want the credit now. Well, you I don't. Take <laughs> now this, what piqued my interest with it is because it was um, because of the, the the cover, and I don't really speak many much German. You're better at German than me. Das Malefizspiel, so the, the, the something game, and then Barricade. So I don't know what Mal Malefiz is. I'll go and Google no, that later. But it's Ravensburger, who it's obviously, Ravensburg, as the yeah. name suggests, were a German so, company. But so they still make games and jigsaws here in the UK, and I've mm. featured on um, my old blog and on Penny Plays various Ravensburger jigsaws. I've done some 3D puzzles with them recently in that. So, in, so it's got... Uh, hang on, yeah, it's the. So we've got instructions here. Yeah. So exciting game for two, a new exciting game for two to six players from six to sixty-six or more. Oh right, okay, not 66. the eight to eighty-eight thing. Then. No, 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 okay. six to sixty-six. Interestingly, it's got it's a double-sided board. You got that, oh. and then you got that. Oh, yeah. So this might be quick. I'm quite glad there's instructions for this. Yes. So we had a quick look through, and there's various playing pieces. There's yeah. like round counters like those, but then there's also kind of like person pieces which I remember from like games of Ludo yeah. and stuff as well so I've got those as well and, so, um, and one die one die I don't know how many die there's supposed to be no don't know uh, contents five markers in each of six colours sixteen barricades two, two die. die one play one you can find another we can always find, find another, another die dies die are things that you can always dice are easy things you can but find but we kind of need to go through and check yep. all the pieces yep. but again that's another one that I'm hoping will feature on Penny Plays um, having had a look on eBay there seems to be another game called Barricade, which I'm guessing is quite similar, but without the German bit of the title. So yeah. I kind of want to do a bit of research to work out what this game is and mm. the history of it and stuff like that. And I've got yeah. a contact at Ravensburger, so I might give him a yes. drop him an email and see what we can do. So right. that was kind of like some of the games. There's yeah. a few more to come. There's a few more. The other things we got. Um, my daughter loves Jacqueline Wilson and she loves audiobooks. So that one for a grand total of one pound fifty. One pound fifty. Oh There's yeah. There's audiobooks. Absolute steal for that. Fortune. They are. They, they are they, I, I, Absolute. I understand fortune. why they're a lot of money, but it's just. Yeah, but you, even you, like you buying them on like eBay and stuff. Pounds for them, can't you? Like yeah. nine quid yeah, yeah. on second hand on eBay yeah. for stuff like that. So one pound fifty. It's actually a book she's got the paper version of, but that doesn't seem to stop her. So no. she's happy with that anyway. It's something that she can listen to at night time. Like yeah. It? So um, yeah. so that's that. And the other thing we got for her was a ton she reads like there's no tomorrow. So um, one Jacqueline Wilson book, which I think cost me about twenty five to thirty p. That yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I then got three for a pound of some. Enid Blight and Mallory Towers books. Um, turns out she's read. I think she's read. Oh, she's had. She's read one. She's okay. got the audio CD of two. She thinks her dad might have read her three. But I managed to pick up third year at Mallory Towers, upper fourth at Mallory Towers, and in the fifth at Mallory Towers, a pound for all three. Um, there is a sixth form one, and I think I've got an old vintage copy. Which, if she's good, I might let her borrow when she's oh, read okay. those. But then also for Mallory Towers, I'll explain to the guy who runs the bookshop. 
there's there were the six original Mallory Towers books that Enid Blyton wrote, but then they gave permission for someone else to write some more. So this is three books in one, which is called New in the New Girls at Mallory Towers series. So new term at Mallory Towers, summer term at Mallory Towers, and winter term at Mallory Towers. And I'm hoping she'll just like those. So it's not the Daryl and Sally and Gwendolyn that I remember, but some other kids instead called right. Felicity. And I don't know the name Felicity mentioned. But these are but these because I'm quite uneducated. You didn't read Mallory Towers. And I didn't really read a lot of Enid Blyton when I was young, but I'm so. also understanding that Enid Blyton didn't actually write these. No, no, no. They brought someone else in, yeah. and the guy on the stall was pointing out some famous five books that yes. have also been written by someone else and that's uh, come yeah, in since. Yeah. But okay. under, I think the Enid Blyton estate gave the name to be allowed to be used in some way, shape, or form. So, okay, there you go. And that one's for my son. This one's for this one's one's for the boys. Sexist. That's a bit very sexist. I'm, I'm sorry about that. No, don't say it. Wash your no. mouth out. Yes, I know. Um, this is one for people who like trains. Yes, that's better. Yes. Okay. So it's a uh, the story of trains. Story of trains. Rather an American train on the front, but that's never mind. We'll persevere. You know, like story of George Stevenson and his rockets. Yeah, he probably knows most of this anyway. Yeah. But any book with trains on and any book that gets him reading yes. is quite a so good yes. thing, as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, it's all. Uh, yep, and then right up to sort of. More, say modern steam steam engines, but uh, yeah, that's uh, oh look at that the building Spot of the train fourth gate. bridge. And um, that wasn't in for books though. This amazing set of Puffin classics. So Puffin being the bit of Penguin that do children's books yep. as well. Um, my daughter was hoping to read a few more classic books. She was saying she wanted to read certain things. Um, mm -hmm. In particular, she was asking about the railway children. But this is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve books, all quite classics. One pound fifty. It weighs a ton. No Does wonder it's... my shoulder hurt. <laughs> yeah, so big old, big old thing. That there we go. You can actually on the on the other side. No, there are get... other ones. They're oh, they're the ones, other ones. I are think. They? Yeah, I think. They're... Oh no, maybe not. Maybe they are the ones no. I can't. I haven't looked properly yet. But Sorry. anyway, one pound fifty. The Wizard of Oz. Absolute steal. The Wizard of Oz. Yes, is on yes, there. yes. Yeah, I think it is those ones. Okay, so that's quite. That's a steal. That was pretty amazing. Um, right, so just uh, back to board games, as as that seems to be quite a dominant thing. Everyone remembers this game. I remember this game. I remember this game, but this one's got Jeremy Corbyn almost <laughs> on the front cover. <laughs> Jeremy Corbyn on the front cover of the <laughs> box. Mastermind. Everyone remembers it. See, Come on. I think See that area, Jeremy Corbyn. I think my mum and dad had a slightly different version because I, this is deluxe. Mastermind. Yeah. And what I haven't worked out yet is what makes it deluxe. deluxe. It does say here now five holes and eight colours. Well, that that'll be so why. I think then. it's more complicated. Oh, oh yeah, it's quite yeah. yeah it is a because oh, oh. I think it was a full one before. Oh, blimey, yeah, I can't tip it up too much for the camera, but, but it's maybe. full of all the pegs and stuff like that, and the board and yeah. all the holes in, and but. I don't know if we've got any instructions or not. Mm. These must be Googleable, right? Yeah, I would think. They must be Googleable. I would think. Yes. We'll so, find it. We'll so find anyway, the instructions. Mastermind. But it's break the hidden code. I'll ask my mum. She used to play. I think her and my dad used to play this, so I'll find out. Oh, I'd forgotten about this one. Yeah. Now, this is an interesting one. We don't, I don't, don't, never seen this one before. Another Racco. M, another MB game. Racco. So we'll find out about that game later on, I think, is for keen competition. For two, three or four players. Yeah. So, yeah. Line up your cards in numerical order. Yeah. Uh, but this was back when they still referred to MB with the guy's full name, Milton, Milton Bradley. Milton Bradley, yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. We'll so, find out, but I think that was another one. Oh, this is one that's actually stuck and we haven't even opened it yet. No, I think she's... But I think, she, yeah, she, I think they said that one was complete. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that one you can... <laughs> Seven league boots. You need wellies to cross the mud, flippers to swim, boots to ride, sandals for the beach, but the magic boots can whisk you everywhere. I'm just intrigued. Yeah, there was, that was more This has got an... quite a bit of um, yeah, tokens very... in that. I did count and there seemed to be the required mm. number of tokens and, and stuff and there's cards and... and... Like flippers, you see. It's like, uh, so there's assuming... some slightly psychedelic... Board yeah, this is this going is going to be an there. interesting one to play, I think. But yeah, another one which will hopefully come up on Penny Plays very yep. soon. So um, we'll find out if it's quite as psychedelic and seventies as it looks on there. I'm guessing because back in these days they didn't really put um, copyright dates and everything. No. But we have got instructions on the back of the box at yep. least. At least so. that's the main thing. Fingers crossed on that one. 
So we've got this one, which is a new a new game because yeah, this one's not even this, been opened. So this company though, they do all these um, what are they called Ridley's. Yeah, Ridley's. Yeah. You've probably seen them. They do loads of like reproduction vintage games. So this is. But my son recently, when when I take him to school, there's a big like picnic table in the school playground, which we often sit yeah. at if we're a bit early and do some reading together and stuff. But on the table, they've got a big snakes and ladders yeah. board. So he's really taken to me just saying random numbers and him playing snakes and ladders with his hand along there. So. I'm hoping we can play Snakes and Ladders. Yeah, and and Ludo, the classic basically. I've not played Ludo. Snakes and Ladders and Ludo. Donkey's years. I used to like Ludo. I used to quite like Ludo, yeah. It's a long time since I played Ludo. I had Ludo with the, 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 um, like the dome in the middle. Oh. And you just pop the dome. Oh, for the dice. Yeah. Oh, you see, I never had a version yeah, like that. that. I had the old fashioned, actually yeah. put them in an egg cup. Yeah. And it was always an egg cup. You'd have to send mum to the kitchen when you're playing a game yeah. to get an egg cup. <laughs> so, right, so this, this one isn't, yeah. isn't so much a game. No, it's not a game. This is Spears' game that we mentioned before. That's probably all the things just dropped out from probably. me arranging them inside. But well, oh, this is the big print of the little hands. So, whereas kids now like the rubber stamps, and I know my kids certainly had one that was a. Um, I can't think of the name of the company now, oh. but like wooden ones with the stamps on, so you just have an ink pad and stuff like that, and that's basically what this is. Yes. But there's a crazy number of stamps, hang isn't on. there? Yeah, hang on, I'll just be real so quick and try to put them the, actually um, back box, in there. How many stamps there were? 78 easy to handle printing stamps, complete with letters, numbers, symbols, red and blue ink pads, and various printing sheets to I'm learn. Sure they're on. all here. So, what this hasn't got is oh, it yeah. hasn't got the printing sheets and it hasn't got the ink pads, so right. it's not complete. Um, so it's like that, you see. But <laughs> all the actual stamps are there. Yeah. And the guy was saying that um, he said that they included, in his words, those foreign letters. Yes. Like, so oh, I went, it's oh, basically you mean umlauts oh, and accents umlaut. and stuff. Yeah. Oh, so that's umlaut. what he's on about. So um, we'll have a look at this and oh, try to work out what there is. Does it actually say on the other side what each one is yeah. or not? Yeah. Oh. Ah, oh. got an O on there. Oh, there. Okay. I hadn't noticed that bit when I was and and, and also, but and also rather cleverly. On the stamp is a little ridge on the stamp, mm. so you know which way up it is. Oh. So when you're holding it, you can feel it on your finger or your thumb. Well, that's quite so that's cool. very clever. So yeah, I'm guessing the ink pads will be dried out by now anyway, so it's yeah. not surprising. But it looks from the picture on the board like they had some sort of sheets there with spaces so you match up letters and mm. make it educational. But I'm sure I can kind of invent my own, you know, on the computer, just draw something yep. out in Word or something like that. So um, yeah, I think we paid like about. I think we got we, this in with a bundle with some other stuff. Paid. So I think it's 66p because I think we got four yeah, things it was, for he, three it was, quid. Yeah, he said he said uh, they're a pound each, but he would do a deal, and we bought four, and we got them for three we got quid. them for three quid. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So pretty good that. Yeah. So okay. yeah, I'm not sure quite what we'll do with that in the long run. Maybe <laughs> just kind of feature it on the blog or whatever. Uh, the kids will probably play with it. To be honest, if I can find an ink. Yes. Card. So last couple of oh, there's a few. No, it's not. Oh, this no, it's by, no, by no means is last because we've still got. That bag, and yeah, okay. So, so we now have um, a Tetley jigsaw puzzle. We're not sure whether this is double sided complete. just yeah. to make it more complicated, but yeah. it's tea related. I so have to have tea related. So, that's that, those are the two puzzles you can make, I think. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. I don't know. I didn't even look at it that close. It might not be, so might not be. I see, I assumed it'd be pictures of the uh, Tetley possibly man. Possibly then. Oh, yeah, sorry. But I, then I just confusingly, just... though, there are two bits on the back where it does say double sided jigsaw. So, we'll have a look when we open that up. So Actually, we'll have to open that yeah, up. It's, um, it's sealed at the moment. Yeah. But um, we will. We don't want to. This isn't an unboxing so much. It's no. more of a. So, we'll check that one out then. Um, and then, this is mainly for my daughter. Um, really, because she collects them. Just a sum sum puzzle. Again, we oh, it's one of these impossible told, puzzles. We're told it is all there, but I wasn't going to stand and count a thousand no. pieces in front so, of some woman with a pair of boots. But she, but it was it was a quid pound. So you know, I think that one probably you know fulfill a few hours. Or yes, something. yeah. So I think then there's um, there's more. So there's. Rather interesting, no, we, we, a bit more techy items now, but not really. Well, we kind of, we <laughs> saw quite a few CDs and everything, yeah, didn't we? Loads always, of CDs. Always it CDs. wasn't as much vinyl as I hoped, and no. the vinyl that there was was quite a lot of Cliff and, and stuff Baldunican like that. And Yeah. and uh, Tom O'Connor, or Des O'Connor. There's Des O'Connor, not Tom O'Connor, sorry, Tom O'Connor's no, the comedian. comedian yeah. Well, Des O'Connor was, yeah, You did buy some vinyl. I, I did buy some. Did you put that? No, I've got it. 
I, I, I set it up, it's here somewhere. Okay. I'll get it. Um, but what I did see, um, hiding among some CDs, rather unusually, are these. Now, you might be mistaken to think that these are cassettes, but they ain't. They're more, not. They're not more, more skilled than that. You see, now I I find this fascinating because this was a this this medium came around and disappeared almost as quickly. Basically, it's mini disc, and I see. I don't think I've ever actually seen a commercially released mini no, disc before. Well, like I said, the first mean mini disc I ever listened to, or mini disc track I ever listened to was Deacon Blue, and it was on display at a little tiny little record store in Norwich. And uh, uh, they had it in the machine, and I went, "Ah, oh, amazing!" This is, but, but it, you know, like my my views about mini disc wasn't really shared by many people, which is why it sort of became a defunct format, really. So yes, so Echo Belly well, as well. It was used in radio stations for a long time. Yeah, because it was. Things. Yeah, um, but I think the like most things, the, the coming of recordable CDs and um, MP3 kind of killed off me mm. disc really but I really like the format I'm still I still hold a small candle to the format um, and have a mini disc player and I have a mini disc player so we I can actually see if these work yes so but they were I think it was three fifth, colours red is the other one by the way 50p for both of them yeah he's so like a whopping 25p <laughs> so dead, each dead, probably cost more than that brand new <laughs> So Dirt that looks pretty cool. Dirt yes. Anyway, uh, so uh, the, the the one of the things we're quite pleased about, and unfortunately, it's not really displayable because he had to bung yeah. it all in a bag, didn't he? So pass us the leaflets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what this was was I happened to see on the floor in front of one stand a plastic box full of Meccano, which yeah. is always worth a look. Yeah. Anyway. Always. But this was kind of proper Meccano, because yeah. modern day Meccano has various plastic bits and pieces and stuff yeah, like this. Yeah, and shaped pieces. But it was kind of obvious to me that this was old fashioned Meccano and yeah. the most complicated thing you got is a slight curve a flat piece that's got a slight curve to it, like an arc yeah. shape. Yeah. But what was really of interest was the fact that there were two instruction manuals in the box. This one is the one that I'm really interested in, yeah, um, which is a Ferris wheel. Yeah. Um, not the most recent version of the Ferris wheel and not the very, very oldest version, but still quite an old version. Yeah. And then if you and, show the size... And the other point, sorry, the other point about it is it's motorised as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, both of these so are motorised. Both of these got have got little, small DC motors so, in them. Yeah, but, but if you hold up this bag, so the guy was quite keen that we couldn't have the plastic sorry. box, but he did put it in a bag for us. So, so there is a massive... In there bag here of bits of Meccano um, and yeah. there's a bit of polystyrene with some of it in but then we've actually got all the big metal plates and this yeah. one here for instance I believe the base of is the... the base of the ferris wheel yeah. so tons of proper so like metal Meccano like partly made and like that looks like it's a motorbike so I think that's part yeah. of this car thing that one yeah. um, but it looks it, the guy says it's all there it's 100% it's all there 100% so we, I mean, there's even like a little old vitamin box in there with all the screws in and stuff yeah. like that. So he was quite organised and, and everything. And the, and the motor as well. Yeah, I mean, oh, obviously oh, we need to there's me there's the screws. Already. Oh, screws falling out already. Do that. Um, so there is always a chance the motors won't work, but hopefully someone can maybe fix those. Um, but I was kind of like, we kind of had a quick conversation as to how much we'd spend on this. And I kind of got a figure in my head and I said to go, oh, how much for the Meccano? And he just went, five quid a lot. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we'll have that. And he did have some Lego there, um, yeah, which was I think we just lost out on the Lego. And, and there was a, a little, little boy. Girl. There was a little boy there, sort of buying a couple of them. It was like, wow, that's fine. So yeah. Um, and the other thing is, there was there was some vinyl, but vinyl is vinyl. Mm. Um, and um, I it wasn't can't think over the topic side. No, no, it's nothing special. So, um, yeah. But then this one, this is one of the first things we saw there, yeah. which was this cardboard <laughs> box full of vintage. Duplo, baby Duplo, basically. Yeah. So things I've not seen before, like this rattle, which needs a bit of a wash. It's got shaky eyes and a duck bill and everything else. So another bigger rattle with four of these. It all needs just a little yeah. bit of a wash. But like Duplo stuff, it lasts for years. I managed to find that one online. I think that was 1986, this one right. that I found. So we're going back now, what's that, 32 years? So quite old. Yeah, but that, you see, I think was supposed to fit in a phone bit, which we haven't got the phone bit, so no. it's not quite complete. And there's some pieces that I recognise a lot more. So modern day Duplo looks like that. Does it, does it, now, does it ring because of the springs, or does it just... 
I don't know. No. I do not know. Mm. I do not know. So we've kind of got some random bits yep. like that, and that's obviously part of a. I don't know. Is that a cooker? Is that a? a yeah, cooker. that's a it's cooker. A cooker. Yeah. So I don't quite know. So we kind of need to go through these bits and work out quite what we've got because that looks like part of an engine. Yeah. That I recognise from other people here. There's this rocker thing, which is a bit weird because you've kind of got there's two wheel well wheel at either side which are connected. Then you've got the balls here, but you've got a piece in the middle which actually rocks as it goes along. As, as they it goes push along. It. Yeah. yeah. So you know there's that, but I kind of think I've seen something online which has got pieces not the phone piece but other pieces kind of built on there so it kind of rocks backwards and forwards as it goes along mm -hmm. so i need to kind of work that out i had a, found a website that's got some duplo and lego listings on it's a sink a sink it? yeah it's all a bit random but there's some quite interesting bits in there yep and it was two quid two <laughs> quid and you, you sort of went in you, again you was you told me later on that you were prepared to pay a lot more for that yeah i would yeah. have been to be honest with you because i can see something like that selling for a couple of quid yeah. and they're all completely usable it needs a wash but literally just a scrubbing brush and some washing yeah. up there yeah. they'll be as good as new those will the only one we'll have to watch is the noisy one that one yeah i don't know i i think that i i don't think it's supposed to make that well i think it's just because of the springs i don't know it's don't supposed know. to make some noise but i just don't know but we need to kind of look into that yeah. and work out a bit more about it so i think that's all that was our haul yeah our today. amazing car boot random our expecting spare of the car. moment it just oh, goes to show. Car boot sale. Yeah, it just goes to show. It's always worth going, isn't it? So anyway, so that's today's haul. Um, hopefully you'll see quite a few of the bits pop up on Penny Plays over um, well, the next few months, I'm guessing, actually, by the time we've so. pulled stuff together and everything. Yeah. Um, and some of the Lady Bird stuff will appear on Penny Reads as well. Right. So thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you again next time we found a good car boot. Bye.